this is the prep for our Ebe. We're at the Global African Store in Manchester. Tiny with the jam. Manager, yes. 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 I want shrimps, mommy. Bring your cup. 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 Bring I to the tomato sauce. I have to put lemon sauce. I have to put the sauce. I have to put the sauce. Snapper here because of the amount of lemon that my mom said that we had, and we have to cook this with the ever so. I bought kinky from the Ghanaian shop, and we're doing this to it. I'm gonna fry it up and then do a tomato sauce with it and shito. All I needed it to be is salty and have a little bit of lemon, maybe a lot of lemon, and that's about it. So this is done. There's so many things that is in these, which is from um, Iceland. So I got the three for ten pounds, but I ate all the rest. Um, and then we're gonna be using this frozen ham caught swim crabs. So this is like a seafood. Um, soup, I would uh, like to call it, but we call it a bit, and it's the best thing in the whole wide world that I got from Aldi. I used more than half of it, so we're gonna add that to it as well. And we've got another pack here, and this is shrimp with obviously shell shrimp, so all of this is gonna go. So, as I said, the seafood plus, um. The uh, catfish, we call it pong in Gambia. That's going to be used as well. And then we're going to be using some of these scotch bonnets. This is one of the most hottest scotch bonnets you can find. You can get it at Finnegan's at Hume High Street. And they come in a bag. And I think it's how much is it? $1.99. So it's quite good. So these are the ingredients, but right now I need to concentrate on getting this fish fried so yeah so what my mom is doing right now she's just defrosting the crab so she's obviously putting hot water in it and now she's at um the stage where she's just cleaning the smoked catfish and just make sure you proper thoroughly clean it okay 
clean the catfish making sure you rinse it properly and she's gonna be rinsing she does a lot of rinsing she's so extra but that's just the way she does her things um but just make sure you know you clean everything once that's clean obviously we're just gonna move on to the remaining ingredients there's quite a few bits and bobs obviously but you know a bit is just a bit in it you know you, you can't you just don't understand it <laughs> but here um again it's just making sure she's cleaning prepping everything so we're gonna clean the shrimps um um of course obviously we've got two different shrimps uh shelled shrimps and peeled shrimps as well um so that's going to be added to it again just make sure you clean everything and it's all going to go into one pot and that pot it's it's going to be a boil so it's going to have like a little bit of a boil going on and the ingredients i will put down um what is put in the boil separate in the um description box so you'll be able to kind of see exactly what is there um because as i said ever is just a must in it it's just boom hey. the african way of project So we've got the catfish, which has been cleaned in hot water, which is still previously, and um, the cassava. So we're going to let that boil and cook before we start adding the other ingredients. Shout out to all my Ghanaians, honestly, and shout out to the person that used to sell me kinke when I was in Gambia going to school. Lunchtime was amazing. Mm -mm. So I'm just checking if the cassava is boiled, so it should be like par, par boiled before you start adding um, your palm oil. And here is the seafood boil. Just look at just look at how beautiful that is. All the ingredients is just entering all the seafood. This is real original palm oil, not the ones that you get from the corner shop. From Serenio. This is from Serenio Friton. Okay. Friton. So basically, the, um, it's almost cooked. She's removed the, um, the oh. smoked catfish, which is aka Kong. And now she's obviously added the palm oil. I'm just gonna let that cook. Um, this is done now, anyway. I can't do it. Blend a lot. Blend. Blend. Hey. So this section is basically she's taking off the smoked um catfish and she's gonna add it there. So here we're just adding the seafood boil and look at all those and this is what's just gonna make it all come together and we're just gonna mix it, make sure it's well mixed in together and then we're gonna be adding the rest of the ingredients. I mean, we don't just stop here, it carries on, trust me. 
So prior to this, I've added um, some lime juice, which is a bottle of lime, and now I'm adding some um, fresh lime juices. And this is the citrus that's just gonna make the seafood bang. This ever is gonna bang. So here I'm just uh, mixing the tamarind. So I added a little bit of warm tap water and I'm just gonna mix it till it's nice and smooth before we add it to the ever. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. 